Hi guys, welcome back to another video, another campaign, Forge Creation playthrough here. This one we're doing a remake of Halo 3's Crow's Nest, as you can see here. Uh, shout out to Riskiest Soul 35 he's made a bunch of maps. Uh, I have played this one already, so I know what's in store. Uh, unfortunately, my recording just didn't record, I don't think I pushed the button. But anyway, let's jump into this one. Alright, here we are guys, in the map. And as you can see, it is a very good recreation. As I said, I've already played this one. Uh, I'm really annoyed that I didn't record it because it was a kind of first reactions, which I always like to do. The first thing we need to do on this map, of course, is to get up here and find the skull, which is there. It is just a, an oddball skull. It doesn't actually give you anything in this one, which I think is what happened in Halo 3. I think you then had to activate it. A second time uh, like on, on the next game mode or, or whatever so anyway we are jumping through this one uh, picking up a few guns in the armory down here which is pretty cool we have our little arbiter here <laughs> it's a little Funko Pop I didn't even know they were in the game but that is pretty epic and then up here we've got our Sergeant Johnson doll which again is pretty awesome uh, so this is a really well-made map. It, it could do with a tiny bit of polish, but I understand how difficult it is to make these, especially just a one-man team. So through the armory we go and back out here. The doors are really weirdly made. They're kind of cool, but they're kind of a bit janky as well. Uh, I'm sure I'll show you them a bit better in a minute. So we are in with all our marines. We're going to steal this VR just to make it even more reminiscent of Halo 3. And again, really well uh, constructed area that looks just like you'd expect from Halo 3. We're going to keep on moving through though because there are no bugs here. That's what I mean about the door. It's kind of cool but kind of weird. Uh, one thing I would suggest in the future, if possible, and again, I know it's difficult, especially with one person. Some of these alleyways are very uh, low low texture quality because they've just been stretched out. I mean, this map is huge, let's not forget, so it is a difficult thing, but it just kind of brings things down a little bit. And then the other thing I would uh, suggest, I know that most people are going to be familiar with Halo 3, and where to go etc but i hadn't played this for a little while and um, there are no waypoints or check markers or objectives so this map in particular there is a lot of uh, back and forth and without checkpoints if you can't remember exactly which way to go you're gonna uh, get a little bit lost uh, i didn't actually i did mostly remember where to go but there was one point uh, when I first played it where enemies didn't spawn in and I got a bit stuck towards the end and I had to wait uh, and do some laps before they spawned in. Whoops, I just shot my marine. So here we go to our first main... Uh-oh. Our first main area of combat. I love that we've got the Halo abilities in this, the infinite abilities. We are going to be a bit cheesy and just wipe them out here with this. Of course, they keep spawning in. So it seems like I wiped them out so fast that the ships have got stuck on each other, which is uh, a bit annoying. Will that get them? Uh, no. But they've managed to de-conflict themselves. That was pretty funny, but he's now off course. And I'm going to die as well. So they have dropped in, but a bit jankily. That is pretty funny. I don't think fusion coils can take these guys down in all honesty uh, uh, by these guys I mean the actual phantom which is a bit disappointing is, uh, is there a chieftain there? no so they are all now wiped out all three waves and like I said there's now no checkpoint telling you what to do next I believe in the uh, original game you'd get some comms from from Johnson maybe or I'm not entirely sure telling you where to go next so it, it, obviously they can't do that in Forge which is slightly disappointing no issue of the uh, the creator of course however a checkpoint telling you to go back would be welcome this door here so yeah one thing I didn't recall we got some Marines now although they're not following us for some reason uh, that is a bug I think with the, the map itself into this room one thing I didn't recall oh, no I've run out of ammo as well one thing I didn't recall, as I'm trying to say here, is that running all the backtracking kind of feels a bit void now for some reason. 
And uh, I'm not entirely sure why. Ooh, that was funny. But I guess maybe there's because there's, the, there's no enemies outside of the skimmers when you get back to the big room. Um, I don't know why he's not charging me either. This was one of the harder rooms in the original game. There's not many rooms on Legendary that were, that were difficult in the whole campaign, but this one, uh, because they kept charging you, was actually quite challenging. And yeah, I can't remember it being so void of enemies. Obviously here, there's no ambiance or, uh, or, or comms from, from Sergeant Johnson or Cortana or whoever it was in the original. It's slightly disappointing that uh, the backtracking doesn't really work when there that we don't have that. So we've restocked up on our BR, gone back through this room, and we'll move on to the next area. We've got a dead marine down there, which kind of is a bit of a highlight that you can go this way to go through the tunnels. It actually looks pretty cool down here, even though it's still a bit stretched out. It's, uh, it works a little bit better in the underground areas. Some dead marines and our next big battle. Always remember this area uh, in particular because of this shower room up here. Uh, again, I thought this one actually might have been slightly more challenging on, on Legendary in the original game. Here we are playing on a slightly lower difficulty just so I can get through it and make a reasonably concise video for you guys to watch. And if you are enjoying these, as always, please hit that subscribe button. We are now over 100 subscribers, which is uh, amazing. I did not think we would get there. Uh, so quickly within a couple of months but you guys are enjoying these videos and I'm enjoying making them so make sure you hit that that button and uh, leave me a comment and uh, if you've got any suggestions of other videos or other maps to play I will happily do them we do have a hundred subscriber sort of clip special coming uh, just of some random multiplayer stuff some fun stuff just to, to express my thanks for all the subscribers so we're now through on the other end of this cavern to the lift, which does work, uh, but is a little bit janky just because that's how Forge is, as you can see, it's chugging along. And into this next battleground. Oh, I don't know why we're charging them with no grenades. And again, in terms of geometry here, this one is, uh, this whole map is very accurate to the original Halo 3. I know when I made uh, Halo 3 uh, Sierra 117 original uh, first level, I, I got my bearings wrong and my memory was a bit foggy. This one I can remember very well. So we're up here, we pick up the active camo. So I believe that door down there should open, or is it uh, slightly below? Uh, one other little Easter egg over here. We've got Cortana doll. <laughs> so she is not um, she's not missing out. We're getting some packet loss, which is scaring me that we're going to crash out right towards the end of the map. So one, I, 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 this is what I meant about earlier when I said I couldn't get uh, enemies to spawn in. I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do here because there there isn't any objective and. I need them to spawn in there. I don't want to fall down. I'm obviously missing a trigger on something. Here we go. Now it's opened. I don't know. I literally was just running around for a couple of minutes there. I don't know why that took so long. It was similar the last time I played this. So maybe something for the map creator to have a look at. But we can move on through. So again, very accurate. The only thing that I'm not familiar with uh, in terms of memory is uh, enemy placements and it does feel like especially with whoa I don't know what happened there especially with the skimmers we could have done with a lot more in those previous rooms when they pop up it's also a shame that none of these boys are jumping on the turrets to attack me but now that they're at least dealt with in terms of nostalgia although I can remember this mission very well um, it wasn't one of my favorites in the uh, original game, but it was a very good and fun mission to play through. I think especially with the the companionship you get throughout it in terms of communication from 
from your allies. I quite enjoyed that part of it. It is memorable, just not one of my favorites. So back in the original room, take out the last few brutes and chieftain, stick him before he kills me. Uh oh, I don't know why I'm charging out there to be honest with you. Shields recharged. Oh, that didn't work. Especially with this packet loss. God, I hope that the matchmaker server fix comes to custom games. Please. Ah, oh, it's crashed. I'm so annoyed. If you start it in offline mode, which I've now done, it spawned me somewhere that I was literally dying immediately, so I was out of area, and now I can't respawn back in. So you can't play it offline. It's so annoying. Right, we're pretty much back to where we were. I uh, just need to wipe down these last brutes. And the chieftain, of course. There we go, that wipes them down. And then we... A, this is a bomb, right? This was supposed to be a bomb, is that right? You hit that, we're still getting packet loss. Really annoying, I played this like four times. Back down into the armory, wipe out a few grunty boys. Bosh, make our way through here one last time. Back into this room for the final battle. See our ship there. Oh, here we go. Take him down. Bosh, take him down. Hit the bomb. Or whatever that's supposed to be. I can't actually remember how the mission ends, to be honest with you, in the real game. But that is a really well-made map. Especially when considering it's just one guy on his own. And it is the entirety of the Halo 3 level, which is really impressive. So hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to play it yourself, all the links will be down in the description. And I will catch you in the next video.